Three years ago, in the Brown versus Board of Education case, the Supreme Court declared the principles separate but unequal unconstitutional. Schools were forced to be integrated. That happened to us in 1957. We went to Central High in Little Rock, Arkansas. We were two of the nine students who transferred from an all-black school to Central High. Despite their desire to go to Central High, many people were dissuaded to transfer because of the fear of facing prejudice and adjusting to a formerly white school. Shortly before the school year began, we learned that we, could not be able to, we would not be able to participate in team sports, student council, or service clubs, nor could we play with school bands or orchestras or attend dances. This was extremely upsetting to some of us who had been involved in extracurricular activities at our former schools. They told us that we were limited because we were merely transfer students, but we knew it was because we were black. Many people protested our entering upon Central High. They went so far as to have the National Guards block our entrance. Each day coming to school was dangerous. We were constantly bombarded by white mobs as they expressed their anger towards integration. Nonetheless, school began on September 3rd, 1957, and we were determined to gain the education that whites have had since birth. Though the first stage of integration in Little Rock was over, it would take many more years to bring about complete de desegregation. Despite the integration of public schools, there were private schools which were continuously opening in the South. Desegregation is still somewhat of an issue in the school districts in both the South and the North. However, we know that discrimination cannot be fixed only by laws. As Daisy Bates once said, the courts can't change how white people think about blacks. They have to change themselves.